This is gonna be a longer one, LEGO City Summer 2022. So many sets, including the farm theme, something called LEGO Mission, new trains, new stands. Oh boy, let's go. Just look at that chunky list. Yeah, that's like I'm gonna try to cover it, but wow, that's a big wave. Without any particular order, that is actually an amusement park element of LEGO City. It's not friends or anything, it's an amusement park within the city. Uh, that's very unique, I guess. Space Ride Amusement Truck 60313, set number 433 pieces. We don't have the price just yet. It's kind of like unknown at this point, but looking at real quick, that's the first impression. The cosmic alien guy <laughs> could be totally like a collectible minifigure series, dude. The truck very itself is pretty cool, like the color theme of purple and orange. We got roller coaster elements in it. That alien face build, something to behold for sure. Really cool design, it's gonna go so well with any of the creator amusement park elements or creator expert in the past. Are we gonna be seeing smaller builds from LEGO City going with amusement park? I would like that very much. It folds, you can kind of transport it, that's very clever, very cool to have it uh, set up or hidden, uh, if you will. That's a clever design piece, there's, that's a good set, I wonder what the price is gonna be, LEGO City tends to be expensive so I hope they're not gonna overdo it, but because of the uh, roller coaster elements I think we might be seeing quite a, quite a price set. Alright, stunts, that's the cruiser stunt bike, that's, those guys are going for I think 8 bucks or 8 euro, basically a police dude with a fantastic minifigure as they go, I always said that stunts have the best minifigures of LEGO City, I mean look at this guy, he's basically... Yeah, a proper uh, cop uh, with a giant mustache. And that bike mold, I mean, that element here, it's a single mold. Just looking uh, closely at this, they, the custom molds for the bikes are just mm, top notch. Really like this one, there's a cool uh, wolf sticker in the back. And of course, we have the, the pullback action as all the city stunts bikes go. Scorpion stunt bike, more like a dirt bike of sorts. Minifigure is great as well. What even is this? That's just a helmet with a horns to it. Okay, I'll take it. I mean, and we have printed visor. Not as cool as the, as the cop, but still very fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? It's a duck in goggles. It's, it's, it's a uh, bath tube bike. Thanks LEGO for being ridiculous as you are, that is a fresh look. I, I just, I, I don't have any stuns. I want this one, I want this one so bad. I mean, come on, you're riding a bathtub. What? Okay, the train station, I told you so. I think we talked on Bricks and Coffee that since the trains, some, there was some leak of one of the cargo trains, didn't have a train station or a platform to go with it. I told you there would be probably a separate set and that's exactly what LEGO did and thank you for that. Because as you can tell, this set is probably one of the best looking train station we ever gotten because it's a separate set. Not only we get a train station platform, we also get a, like a truck cleaning car, I believe with a, with a toy toy, as, as I like to call them in Poland, or like a portable a porta potty uh, um, restroom and a very well looking bus. I think last time we got the bus in LEGO City was some time ago. So this is a welcome uh, kind of comeback to a bus set in a shorter form in a blue color, my favorite. There is a piece of track included, so it's gonna work just fine with any of the train sets that I'm gonna show you in a second. But yeah, you wouldn't get a, such a detailed train station if it was a part of a larger train set. Either the set would be very expensive, or the train station would be just a single few bricks platform that's diminished in its glory. And this is a full-blown, well-looking, additional vehicles included train station. How much is it? It's a hundred. It's a hundred bucks. 907 pieces. Okay, I mean, two vehicles, yeah, that that... That is not actually very overpriced. It, it, it is a little bit because it's a city, so you can't can't escape that. But I think it's okay. That bus is very good looking. Very good looking. It's probably a simple build, but to have this, look at that guy's print. Very fun. Yeah, if you have the older bus set, it's gonna go very well together. It's it's pretty decent for us, something that's included in a larger set. And that thing is fun too. You have two sets of wheels, one that just go on the road and one that can work with the train truck. All right, that is the freight train that was kind of leaked a few days ago on the LEGO Instructions website. 1153 pieces for 180. So that's the one I mentioned that doesn't have a train, a plat platform or a station with it because it includes much more thanks to that. Uh, it's still pricey, but the train's always gonna be pricey because of the power up system. But you got a good locomotive, a cargo train, a lifter or a forklift, it's not a forklift, it's more like a crane lift, 
to that there is an electric vehicle charging station what is that for in that set i'm not really sure but there's also a car carrier and a coal carrier i believe that is a good design for us something that i don't think we ever gotten in lego maybe we did in the past but i don't really remember but you get lots of wagons and lots of activity for this if you part of the train station or actually it should be more like a cargo dog which we don't really have so that's kind of like doesn't work together but still i prefer lego adding more to the trains uh, rather than trying to squeeze the set a little more and add a, like a lackluster train station i think that's a better approach here good design for that vehicle that's for sure uh, you get quite a few train tracks. I think there's also a side track that you can add to the set. So you get in favor of not having any platform, you get more tracks, which is great. Yep, that is the track design you're getting with the set. So plenty more tracks with a side track included. Ah, the second train, the passenger bullet train. That's gonna be 764 pieces for 150. Wow, that powered up system really bumps up, bumps up the price. But you do get lights included. The lights are coming back in the front. Cool color green uh, color theme in the lime green section. There is a small platform, and I mean that's I want I want to say unfortunately because that's how it's supposed to be. But you know it's just a platform, so you're better off with getting this probably in the train station set to make it uh, a much more complete of a set. But the design is really cool. It reminds me of the old school city trains, uh, proper commuter train design. There is a lot of cool minifigures I think that I noticed here. Yeah, you get two uh, staff members of the train. Actually, you get two. Uh, civilians, or actually fourth civilians, like civilian minifigures, passengers. Actually, the front backpack is something I've never seen before. That is a front backpack piece. Uh, and I have some cool prints for the for the other minifigures. The laptop, yeah, a little bike. I like it. All right, back to city stunts. A chimpanzee stunt loop. Okay, there's a chimpanzee build in here. <laughs> there's a single loop set. I think there's a double set. Yeah, that double loop set in a second. This one includes a bike. Uh, those loop elements are bumping up the price at $54.99, it's not the cheapest, so keep that in mind, they're not the cheapest of the sets. That loop, loop looks awesome, I guess we're getting, we're becoming Lego um, Hot Wheels right now, it, for lack of a better term. Oh wow, this guy gets a fighter pilot's helmet. Is he flying so high he needs like an oxygen mask? <laughs> okay, cool, cool bike. Oh, it's actually a plane, of course, I didn't notice, it's a plane mold, <laughs> with a little propeller in the front. And he has like a pilot's helmet. That's the double loop set I mentioned in a, a second ago. Stunt show double loop, 598 pieces at 140. Wow, those loops are super expensive. Two loops at this price tag, man, that's crazy. There's a really cool uh, monster truck included with this. So two bikes, two loops, a monster truck. You can, I think, yeah, you can connect the the fire the firewall to the to the monster truck and have it mobile. But yeah, those loop elements. Oh boy, they must be very expensive in molding and at scale, so that's why the price tag is so nuts. Oh, and then you, guess you also get the roller coaster pieces, so that explains a lot. Man, that's that's pricey. I'm not sure like that's a, such a cool set, but you're getting like 140. You're you're in in some flagship set territory, and it's, this is not a flagship. The minifigs are sick. You get super cool helmet. What is that element? What is this? There is also uh, like a mask print, what, the camera guy, lots of minifigures, but I still I still can justify 140 price tag for this. Wow, that's a lot. Obstacle stunt challenge, sure. If you're doing stunts, you have to go against a uh, translucent, very cool mold, by the way, Blaze trying to chop you off. Uh, safety might be a concern. Very cool dirt bike uh, outfit for the minifig, I like this a lot, but I'm not sure about uh, the blades chopping you off being a great stunt element. I mean, would you like to have audience for that? Ouch. A really cool print as well, you can see some sort of, some sort of like a Robocop face print uh, underneath that helmet. Knockdown stunt challenge at 20, that's a small little thing, let's see what we have. Same helmet with those weird uh, ponytail pieces, okay, I'll take a new bike. I think they have like different bikes who so kind of are inclined to collect all the bikes. There's a cake and a scorpion and a trophy. Uh, whatever you win, you win. Either a scorpion to your face or a cake. I'll take the cake. Love the star element. It looks like it's actually glowing in the dark. I think that's made from that white Lego that's glowing in the dark. Also, getting a trophy to your face is uh, not the best way because it seems heavy. So Shark attack stunt challenge, <laughs> 20. This time it's not a cake, it's not a scorpion, it's a shark to your face. And of course the guy looks like a pirate. Arr. Oh yeah, it's totally a pirate dim set. <laughs> you get a stack of barrels, a treasure, 
There's another of that plane molds for the bike, this time in red. There's a new thing called Lego Missions. I'm not sure what the concept is here, but that's the Animal Rescue Missions at 30 bucks, 20, 246 pieces. Build with story, not instructions. There is some sort of an app included, so I'm not sure how the concept will be, but it's more like a free build set. Usually it's a single vehicle and some animals with a baby croc in this one and a crocodile as well, and a bunny and a frog, a pink frog or a dark pink frog, but the concept is a little bit different than your typical Lego set. Build safety gear. I'm trying to build it your way. Okay, so you're like you're inclined to customize your vehicle the way you want. You have digital missions in the app. So this is gonna be like a like a three in one, more like a five or six in one, I guess, idea uh, for uh, for mostly younger Lego fans. You get actually a ton of elements if I look at it. There's an all a bunny again. There's a tree stump uh, minifigure cast costume. There's a bunny accessory as well, lots of accessories. So it's gonna be a good set for just having custom elements, I would say. Yeah, so you build a flatbed truck that's basically empty, empty page, and you customize it to your liking. You build missions and you play with the app. So it's it's inclining to be more creative with a Lego set. It's more like something between a creator, a typical classic creator, and something of three in one, I guess. That's the space exploration mission, also 30. All of these are 30, by the way. So you have a spaceship as a base, and then you go with tons of accessories. So it's like a glorified extra pack, if you will. Maybe that's that's what it is with an added set to it. I guess, build your own way, customize your spaceship, add elements. Police detective, you start with a boat and go from there. Okay, I, I, I see the concept now that I do look at those pictures. Custom boats, creativity, yada, yada, yada. I liked it, I like the concept. The last of the missions, uh, I think it's pretty cool. It's definitely gonna spin some creativity in LEGO fans. I'm gonna cover the LEGO farm sets in a different video if you are looking for that, because those are completely, I think the most uh, awaited from the whole lineup. Uh, they kind of like, it's nice to see the comeback of LEGO animal molds, but I'm gonna cover this in the second video. Thank you so much for watching. What you guys think, the comment section is open below. Subscribe, like, hit the notifications bell button. Of course, you know how this works, right? You're not new here, or if new, actually subscribe if you like what I had to say. Thank you so much for watching. It was Mike, and I'll see you in the next one very soon. Peace out, bye.